Dang it. Bamboo Labs P1S Combo 3D printer quick start. Cool. So there is a warning in here. When operating AMS, we recommend using Bamboo Labs filament, which has been thoroughly tested to work with the AMS. Please make sure to avoid using soft materials like TPU or damp PVA. So I cannot print TPU with this? Wow. I wasn't planning to. Anyways, let's see. The glass panel, be careful. The toolbox. Let's check how to get it out. Oh, oh I need to use some Allen keys. <laughs> In the toolbox, the screen, a power cord for the EU. We got a connector for I think the AMS. Some glue stick, filament spool holder if you are using the P1S with one single spool, if that ever happens. Something here in this package. A spare hot end, some lubricant, some other stuff in here as well. We need to have the Allen key. The AMS unit. Now on the inside, there is a bracket with some red arrows to remove the holding bracket for the AMS. But also the heated bed is held down with some screws in order to transport this. So also two in the front so in the manual it also says which kind of screws for the brackets that are there temporarily to secure the whole machine so that was that so according according to this manual it says to put the ams on top of here but i also have the glass plate so i assume that First the glass plate comes and then the AMS. Because if you think about it, we have the AMS here and we just put it on top of here, just like that, an open gap. I don't think that that is the idea behind it. You know, you have this P1P without any covers, then you have the frame where you just can put the AMS on top of it. But in this case, there is a glass panel. So I'm going to take this off and put the glass plate on top of it, like we should do. Don't let it bump. And now the AMS is coming on top of it. We are going to turn this around because we need to see the back side. AMS is going on top of it. We are taking the black wire. That all looks good. Now we are going to attach the screen. That is all set. So also here steps are being mentioned how to unlock the bed from the transportation mounting yeah after that putting the display on on the front and uh, the rest is binding the 3d printer so let's do that i was working the last couple of days making this room this youtube studio a little bit more suitable for the things that i'm doing so this one is going to the background you will see it right now in order to bind the printer with everything and follow up on the instructions, I first need to scan the QR code that is here in the manual and um, <coughs> download the app, register, and uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. 
this is the moment that I'm going to switch on the printer and then let's see where the fun starts. Shall we? I have connected the power cord on the back side to the P1S. Let's uh, switch it on. Before use, make sure that you have read the user manual carefully. Yes, next. Before use, make sure that you have removed the screw fixed to the hotbed. Next, we are in Europe. So scan the QR code to configure the Wi-Fi and user account to on Bamboo Handy app. Let's do that. So after, you know, logging in into my Bamboo Labs account, I already had one apparently. I, the app is now registered. I bind this printer with my network and also with the app. The next thing I need to do the self test, but I don't know what I, can expect what I need to do. Uh, one of the things was, you know, unscrewing the bed. So that part is done. There are some PTFE tubes still here in the AMS. I am not really sure if I need to take them out, yes or no. Caution reason, I'm going to take them out. So the PTFE tubes. I think that are spare ones. Taking those out. So it's empty now. Closing the lid. Start. Okay. Self-testing. So bed is moving up. In the meantime, I can remove those and taking the screw out. Let's uh, run the self-test and see what is going to happen. Here on the screen, it is asking for my help to improve printing for every user. That I already had also when registering the P1S on my app. So I will skip this one ready to print. So let's load up some filament samples and let's do a test print. There seems also be some bags of silica inside of the AMS, which needs to be removed, question mark. Or else it doesn't make any sense at all. Cool. And the machine does do the rest. There's also another spool, support for PLA, so I think this is PVA. We are not going to load this one, it's not needed. But we have already two colors, I can add something more, I don't know. But let's do it like that, close the lid and uh, let's start the first test print. It's not a touch screen, so I need to get used to this. So I press up on OK, but nothing is loaded, of course. Let's go one, let's go to the file. Let's uh, do a Benji, but the build plate I want to clean before using it. So first successful print. Well, here it lays good on the bed. I don't know what actually happened. I thought I cleaned the bed. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it again. Do you see that? It came back out of me. <laughs> Let's see if it does do the thing again. No, it doesn't do that. And it does do it again. So a very bad adhesion, you know, the nozzle being too far away. This looks awful. Carnage. Not beautiful at all. So normally you would do some baby stepping for the Z axis during print. I assumed that for the P1S that that would not be needed. But that is weird. So I'm going to use a material that I always use. 
It is weird because you should normally not have this. So we are going to clean the nozzle. There is still some leakage, which is fine. I'm going to put a little bit of 3D lock on the build plate because it is weird. So let's try the Benji one more time again. And there you have it, a 3D printed Benji in just one single color. <laughs> I expected to see something like more colorful. This is the first print on the Bamboo Labs P1S. Let's uh, print another model, shall we? If you're still watching this video, you are amazing. If you didn't know that, now you know. Also, a great thanks for these supporters of this YouTube channel, the Patreon supporters and the YouTube channel members. Thank you guys, you rock. If you want to support this channel also financially every single month and getting some exclusive benefits, like, you know, early access and also shout outs here on this channel, check the Patreon link in the description or become a YouTube channel member and check out the peers for YouTube channel members. If you don't want to support this channel financially, but still support this channel, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit the bell to get the latest videos right on your YouTube alerts and smash that like button. Share this video on other social media as well. Hey, and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace, bye-bye.